Imagine millions of kilometers of unusable barren land in the heart of one of the most populated countries in the world, overused and ruined by humans. Now we need this land back to sustain and support life not only in China, but all over the world. One major question remains, can we as humans fix what we have so badly broken? Desertification is the transformation of fertile lands into desert and has been an ever-growing problem for China. Desertification areas in China alone have grown to 2.63 million kilometers squared and caused an economic loss of about 54 billion Chinese yen, roughly 8.2 billion US dollars. So what causes desertification? The most prevalent cause is human activity. We overwork fields and don't allow nutrients to replenish in the soil before the next planting. We also allow our livestock to overgraze in small areas degrading what's left of fertile land. Along with the exploitation of the natural land around us, poor irrigation techniques such as using water sources faster than they can renew themselves have only increased the effects of desertification. Another major cause of desertification is the growing problem of climate change. With temperatures in China increasing and average precipitation decreasing, devastating droughts are causing the land to become increasingly dry and unfertile. Overuse of the soil and failure to rotate crops in many fields across rural China has led to extreme soil degradation. In the following experiment based out of the Low West Plateau, Scientists tested the productivity affected by this desertification. They tested this productivity of plants with a constant climate in five different areas, starting with, on the left, a state of potential desertification, up to, on the right, very severe desertification. These bars show an obvious decrease in productivity as desertification becomes more effective. Furthermore, the effects of desertification can cause severe sandstorms, and with the spread of deserts throughout China because of desertification, the range of these sandstorms has increased. This desertification process negatively affects the ecosystem of the region and every living thing that depends on it. This is a global problem that needs to be fixed. In finding solutions, it is important to realize that there is no universal fix. One solution being implemented right now is the Three North Shelter Belt Project, in other words, the Great Green Wall. Since the project's beginning in 1978, 66 billion trees have been planted. By the project's end, projected 2050, the belt is intended to be 2,800 miles long. However, there are many problems with this wall, such as the fact that much of the planting that is being done is with a small variety of non-native species of trees. Therefore, many of these trees in the wall are poorly suited for their environment and susceptible to disease. Another obvious solution is crop rotation with crop diversity. Rotating a variety of crops allows certain fields to have breaks, while the changing of crops requires different amounts of nutrients from the soil, keeping it healthy. Government subsidies also provide payment to prevent farmers from planting crops that increase desertification. All of these come together to rehabilitate an affected area. The Lowest Plateau is a prime example of successful rehabilitation through vegetation restoration, drought resistance, and government assistance. Here's a picture of the Low West Plateau taken before and after rehabilitation began. Finally, the most important solution that is available to humans today is holistic management and planned grazing. Alan Savory describes this as the use of large herds to mimic nature with constant movement through barren areas while leaving behind excrement, urine, and other natural remnants. The compacted ground holds in the fertilizer left behind and moisture from precipitation allows the previous dry land to become fertile and grow more vegetation. This is how the land was revitalized after the holistic management and planned grazing began. The reality is what happens in China occurs in all parts of the world. The causes are devastating to the people, ecosystem, climate, and worldwide economy. But while the problems look daunting, the first step to solving the hardest problems is to simply take a first step and continue in that direction. We, Humans have the power to stop desertification.